multiplying or dividing. Now it's very similar to the way that you do solving uh, equations with multiplying and dividing. And you solve, like I said, the same by same way by doing the same operation to both sides, just like we always do. The one major difference is when you need to multiply or divide by a negative number, then the direction of the inequalities reverses. So I'll go over what that means in a second here. So for example here, 3x is less than negative 9. So all we would do is we would just divide both of these by 3. And just to change the color here. And when we divided both those by 3, we'd end up with x is less than negative 3. And just as a reminder here, when we say x is less than negative 3, go ahead and we do our negative 3 thing here. Remember, it's an open circle. And then less than negative 3 means it would go that way. But one thing that is very important to always check on this, is so just go back and see, so I pull out any number here on this side. Actually, what I generally do is I pull out a 0, and I just see if it works for 0. 3 times 0, is that less than negative 9? No, it's not, so that's right probably because this is not a solution over here and then we try one over here. Negative 5, 3 times negative 5 is going to be negative 15 so that is less than negative 9 so that's correct. Now here very similar same sort of thing the only thing that uh, that is different is that we are now going to be dividing by a negative number so we have to divide this not by 3 but by negative 3. And what I said before is very important, is that when you divide or multiply by a negative number, you have to flip the sign around. And so that's going to be so it's now x is going to be greater than 3. So remember, we're dividing by negative 3 instead, so that's why the problem is different. So again, we go ahead and we draw our number here, draw our little circle there, and it's greater than and this might seem like an odd thing to have happen, but if you think about it, you're doing the same problem here, up here, you're just switching the direction by using that negative number instead. So it's kind of like you're doing the opposite and flipping it over and flipping the direction. But one way to make sure that you get this right is just by plugging in, uh, plugging in a number into the into the actual inequality and seeing if it makes sense. So let's plug in 0 again. Negative 3 times 0 is 0. Is 0 less than negative 9? No, it's not. Then I plug one over here. 5. Negative 3 times 5, negative 15. Is negative 15 less than negative 9? That is correct. So then we know that we're heading the right way if we're going this way. Now for n divided by 3 is greater than negative 1. So all we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides by 3. And then we're left with n is greater than negative 3. Let me rewrite that out. n greater than negative 3. And so then all we do go ahead and do is negative 3. Put our little circle there. It's greater than negative 3. So and draw a line there. And then we plug in any number here, 0. 0 divided by 3 is 0 greater than negative 1. Yes, that's correct. Negative 5. Well, let's make it easy. Uh, why don't we go ahead and say negative 6, because negative 6 would be over here. Negative 6 divided by 3, that's going to be negative 2. Negative 2 is not greater than negative 1. So we know we've got this going in the right way. Now, one slight change here. I want to make, make this so that this is going to be a negative number. So p divided by negative 2 is greater than 2. And just as a reminder here, the reason why we're doing this is to show you how you're going to go ahead and solve this. So here you're going to multiply both sides by negative 2. When you do that, as I said before, First of all, you get rid of this, so it's just now going to be p. Now we switch that around, and it's going to be negative 4. 
So negative 4 is here. And negative 4 is greater. P is less than negative 4. So it should be heading this direction. Let's see if that makes sense. So plug in 0 here. 0 divided by uh, 1 half, or 0 divided by negative 2, excuse me, is 0. 0 is not greater than 2. And then we plug in something from over here. Uh, let's try again negative 6, since that would be over here. Negative 6 divided by negative uh, negative 2 is going to be 3. That is greater than negative 2. It's really important to check those answers and inequalities just to make sure that you got the arrows going in the right way. The dots are easy. Remember, if this was a problem like this, then I would have to color in that dot because it would then be uh, P divided by negative 2 is greater than or equal to 2. And that that's, that's all there is to solving inequalities by multiplying and dividing.